We begin at 5 with a school bus crash that sent children to the hospital. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartelli. It was a frightening ride. The school bus packed with students ran off the road and crashed into a creek. It all happened on the 500 block of Bushkill Drive in Easton, Northampton County. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is in Eastern with reaction tonight. Jasmine. You can just good evening. It was a terrifying start to the week for parents and students here in Easton. And as those students work to recover, investigators are still trying to determine what happened. Well, I was definitely really scared because I almost died. First hand accounts from a student who says he's grateful to have survived after his school bus plunged 15 feet into this creek. Everyone was scared. Then a kid opened the emergency exit. And we all started running out. Officials say it happened on the 500 block of Bushkill Drive in Easton just after 7:30 Monday morning. We feared if, if it would have hit one of those large trees, we feared that would. I would imagine probably nine out of ten times the bus would have flipped into the creek. According to the district superintendent, 29 students were on board. Paramedics rushing at least seven to nearby St. Luke's hospitals. The bus hit the bump. The kids were in the air, and one the guy next to me landed on my ankle, which you know, made it hurt. And then I hit my head on the window. 12 year old Jaden Melendez was on the back of bus number 20, headed to Easton Area Middle School when it happened. He was rushed to the hospital where doctors checked him for signs of a concussion. It was definitely something that I never thought I was going to experience before. Jaden's father, Juan, says to make matters worse, the first time he heard from the district was after Jaden was discharged. There just seems to be a big lapse in judgment, um, notification, communications. Eyewitness News reached out to the district with Juan's concerns, but have not. Heard back. This is something that isn't just going to go away. You know, we need to know, everybody needs to know what happened. Until then, I want them to actually hire qualified people to drive us to school. And if that happens, do you think you'll get on the bus again? Once they can prove that they are capable of doing that, then yeah. Officers tell us there are no seat belts on the bus. They say they do have dash cam video from a, vi from a vehicle that was traveling behind the bus. They say all of that is part of their investigation. We're live in Easton. Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.